In this video, this elite gymnast is going to put the stability of this kayak to the ultimate test by taking it out on the water to see if she can do something like this. Now you might be asking yourself, why are we using an elite gymnast to test the stability of a kayak? Well, before I answer that, it's probably worth asking why anyone should care about kayak stability in the first place. So this very kayak is one of the most popular kayaks on the market in 2023, and Hobie claims it has confidence-inducing stability, which is a somewhat ambiguous definition. But for those of us who are interested in kayaks, determining how stable a kayak is or isn't is extremely important. In fact, stability is arguably the most important characteristic of any kayak on the market. Especially if you go off shore to fish, which we do a lot of in this channel, you absolutely need a kayak that will keep you upright when you're way out in the ocean. Stability is even extra important if you're gonna be doing things like standing up when fishing or if you're introducing a new person to kayaking. Because trust me, nothing kills a new kayaker's confidence or willingness to go fishing with you than flipping over in the surf. Lastly, this kayak is not exactly inexpensive. So if it's not stable, that's a huge factor for anyone to consider who's thinking about buying one. As to the first question, why we would use an elite gymnast to test the stability of the kayak? Well, that's pretty simple. This is footage from Turner, the gymnast who's helping us out today. And she can obviously do awesome, crazy acrobatic things. And at least in my book, if she can do those awesome, crazy things on top of this kayak in the water without it flipping over, that's a pretty legitimate test of its stability. And we are here. All right, guys, so we're out here today. We're with our gymnast, Turner. Hi. We have taken everything off the kayak, so it's a little bit more blank slate, and we're out here on dry land to give her a fair test run before we take it out on the water. So let's see how it goes. Okay, first impressions. It's all right, it's not bad. Oh. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna do a handstand. Test her out. Now. Just for fun. I don't know if I can use on the water, but we'll see. Feels good. All right, let's try it on the water. Okay. So before we get out on the water, I guess I should tell you a little bit about the kayak we're testing today. This is the Hobie Lynx, and its claim to fame is that it's one of the lightest pedal kayaks on the market today. At just under 50 pounds, the kayak is significantly lighter than most others, like my old town Predator or Big Water, which weigh more than double that. The kayak is about 11 foot long and three feet wide, and it has a pedal drive system, which means the whole thing is propelled by a pedaling motion with your feet as opposed to a paddle with your hands. And by the way, nothing about the video today is sponsored by Hobie, but Hobie, if you're watching this and you wanna show us some love, I mean, anyway, we're here. All right, we're out on the water. We're gonna give this a shot. See how it goes. Oh, that was a lot different. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Much harder than it looks. Much harder than it looks. <laughs> About two good handstands, yeah. Okay, what, uh, what are your thoughts? Um, well, when you kick up to a handstand, um, depending on where your weight is, if your weight and your feet shifts forward, the kayak will go the opposite direction, obviously. Um, 
So yeah, it, it was okay. It was a learning experience, but it was good. Okay. So if you're standing up to fish or something like that, which probably most people are going to be doing because most people can't do a handstand on dry land, let alone a kayak, uh, what are your thoughts about stability? Yeah, so I think the same idea applies um, if you stand up and reach for a fishing rod and all of your weight is forward. Uh, the kayak could possibly come out from underneath you the opposite direction, but I think as long as you keep your weight up straight as you're leaning or grabbing anything, you should be just fine. Okay, any final thoughts about the kayak? Uh, no, I really like it. Uh, I think it, it's, it has great stability for a kayak for sure. And um, yeah, don't try this at home. Now I know what you guys might be thinking. This was an interesting test, but it wasn't really complete, was it? Well, in this video here, Turner actually takes the kayak out and fishes with it in the Gulf of Mexico. So click on that if you want to see how she did. And thanks a lot for watching.